This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more techniques. This is puzzle number 33. It's a medium puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 102, by Soap Opera Digest. Um, this is a, even though it's a medium pattern, I'm going to show you some a little bit more advanced techniques. Uh, because I'm seeing them in this puzzle and I thought they would be of interest to you. Um, I'm uh, also going to point out in the L pattern but this puzzle doesn't have uh, the right combinations to really show you an L pattern. I'll have to do that in another video in the future because there are some really cool things about an L pattern that, that you can do. Um, so. To get started, let's just I'll just point these L patterns out. There's an L pattern here and an L pattern here. And usually, like if on looking at this L pattern, if you had two numbers along here outside of this square in this row that weren't already in here, you'd have twins right here. Now down here we have eight and nine, and this is another L pattern outside of this L pattern right here we do have eight nine twins right here because of because of this um, these two numbers and therefore we also have eight nine twins here so and we have an eight there so I'm just go, gonna go ahead and fill those in right now because I can um, uh, and then uh, the next thing I want to do is we have a 4 here and a 4 here and so that means this is a 4 and we also have a 4 here and a 4 here and so that means this is a 4. Um, now we've created what I call a corner sidewalk. This right here is what we call a corner sidewalk. This is like the edge of some grass or a building or something and this sidewalk goes around it. These look like the cement panels in a sidewalk. Uh, and what you can do with the corner sidewalk is you can look for numbers either in this row, like when you're looking at this corner sidewalk, you look for numbers in this row or this column that aren't already in here. So we got a 5148. We've already got a 148 here. So one of these two is a 5. Um, we've got a 5 here, so we can just fill that in. Okay, let's look at this column here. We've got a 148 here, too. 184. We've got 184 in here, but there are two numbers here now, since we filled in these 8 9s. Um, there's a 7 and a 9, and they, they aren't in here yet. So we know these are 7 and 9 right here. And there's a 7 there, so we can fill those in. That's how you use a corner sidewalk. Now let's look down here on this corner sidewalk. We've got an 8947. Uh, we've got an 8, 9, and 4 already, but we don't have a 7, so we know one of these is a 7. Okay. So we have ghost 7s here, 7 here, and a 7 there, so we know one of these is a 7 also. Um, <clears throat> we also see down here we've got a 4, 2, 1, 6. We've got a 4 and a 6 already, but we don't have a 1 and a 2 yet. So we know these are 1, 2 twins. And there's a 2 there, so we can fill those in. So now we've got up here, we've got a uh, 1, 2, 3. Six, three and six. Um, we can't solve either of those right now. Um, we also have a three six right here, and we've got a three six right here, because those there are only two cells that are empty in this column. Okay, so because of these three six, we know this number here. We know that's a two. And the reason we know that is because we got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So because of these twins, we know that that's a two. Okay, uh, we've got a two here and a two here. So one of these is a two, but we can't solve those yet. two here and so we know one of these is a two and there's a two there so we can fill that two in and therefore we know that one of these is a two and we've got a two there so we can fill that two in all right and uh, let's see what else do we have here um, Three numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, five, and seven. Uh, we can't solve any of those, but we know these are eight, nine for two reasons. We saw these eight, nines here and we filled in those, and so we know these are eight, nine. We could have also found those with the three, five, seven here, and those are only, there are only two cells empty there. Now we do know what these two numbers are because we know these are three and six. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four and five here, and there's a five there, and a four there, so we know this is a four, and that's a five. Okay, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, three, and seven. So we can't solve those yet. So you've got a 9 and a 9 here, so that can be a 9, or that is a 9. And now we've got, let's see, what are we missing here? I know we need a 3 and a 6 here, because we've got 3, 6 twins there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 3, 4, and 6. There's a 4 here, and there's a 4 here, so we know this is a 4. Okay. And now we've got 4, 4, 4, and there's a 4 there. So I think that finishes our 4s. We've got all our 4s now. Yeah, okay. But this is kind of interesting here. We've got a 3, 6 here, a 3, 6 here, a 3, 6 here, a 3, 6 here, a 3, 6 here. Um, and you see that quite often where you've got um, two numbers that are missing in rows and columns and squares that are all related and you'll you'll start seeing there just the just two numbers and you're not able to solve any of them yet uh, let's look over here at this column right here and see if we can see anything we've got a one two three five six seven eight nine three five and six missing Right here we've got a 6, so that's a 3 or a 5. Here we've got a 3, so we've got a 5 or a 6. And here we've got a 5, so we've got a 3 or a 6. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. we got a 3, 6 here, and we got 3, 6 twins here. Oh. So we know these three numbers now, right? Um, and we also, well, let's see here. <clears throat> Let's see what those three numbers are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, seven, nine. And there's a seven and a nine, so we know that's a one. Okay. Uh, Let's see, what's this number here? One, two, three. Eight, nine, three, and eight are missing here. There's an eight, so that's a three, and that's an eight. Okay. Okay, and now we know these are three and six because we know these are three six twins, so these can't be three and six. And what were these? I think they were what seven and nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and nine. Okay, so now we've got three six here, three six here, three six, three six, three six, 
3636. Well, as soon as we find one of those numbers, we're just going to fill all of them in. Let's see what we've got here. We've got 3 and 6 missing. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we've got a 7 there. So one of these is a 7. We know one of these is a 7 because of the corner sidewalk here. Uh, so th there's a 3, so that's a 6 or a 7. Here's a 6, so 3 or 7, and here 3 or 6. Okay. Now we... So here we're missing 3, 6, and 7. We know that's 3 or 6, so that can't be a 7. And we also know these are 7, 9 twins, so 3, 6, uh, 6, 7, 3, 7. So we can't solve those yet. Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, at this point, um, we haven't really done any standard things yet because we found, started finding all kinds of interesting things on this puzzle. But let's look at, um, let's just go through sections. And usually you can fill in quite a few numbers when you go through sections. So you got one, 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 one. Okay, twos. Two. One of these is a two. Two, two, two. Okay, okay, I was going to save it. Should know that one. Yeah, that's a two right there. Okay. Threes. Three. Three. Oh, does that mean that that's a three? Nope. Okay. That could be three or six still. Okay. Okay. Three. 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 Okay, we got all our fours. Fives. Five. Okay, there's a f five right there. So you have five there and a five there. So one of these is a five, okay. That means this is a five right there. Now what do we have here? 3, 5, and 7. There's a 7. So that's 3 right there. Okay, and then, so that's a 7. And guess what? Now we can so solve all these 3, 6 twins that we've been finding. Because now we know this is a 3, so this is a 6. So that's a 3, 6, 3, 6. Now these weren't connected to these other ones, so we still know these are 3636 three, here, but we can't solve those yet. Okay. All right, so I was uh, doing sections and I got sidetracked because I started finding things. Um, now we're now we've got some more interesting things. so let's let's hold off on sections for a minute. Let's just look at this column right here. We've got a, a loner cell right here. That means it's the only cell outside of this column in this square that's not filled in yet. So if we can find an, another number outside this square that isn't in this square, that, that's in this column but not in this square yet, we'd know that we found that number. So there's a 7, 9, 6. So that's probably a 6 there. Four and five are there. Yep, that's a six. Okay. All right. And then uh, what do we have left? One, eight, one and eight. And there's a one. So eight and one. And now we should be able to solve these. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Three, seven. There's a seven. So three. 
Okay, what do we have here? 7 and 9, we can't solve those yet. Now we have 3, 6 twins there, 3, 6 twins there, and there's a 6 there, so we know that's a 3, 6, 3, 6. Okay. Here's another loner cell. Let's see if we can do anything with that. We've only got three numbers here, though, 2, 4, and 5. And they're already in there, so we can't solve that one that way. What do we have here? We had 8 and 9. We still don't have an 8 and 9 there. What are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are 1 and 7. We can't solve those yet. Okay. Um, let's look at this row right here. We're missing 1, 2, 3. 8, 3 and 8. And there's a 3. So that's an 8 and a 3. And what are we missing now in this square? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 and 6. And there's a 1 there. 6, 1. Here we're missing 1 and 7. So there's a 1. Here we're missing 8 and 9. There's an 8. And we're missing what, seven and nine here. Seven, eight, nine, yeah. There's a nine, so that's a seven and a nine. Okay. Well, we solved the, the medium puzzle. Um, I hope that some of the techniques that I showed you, um, some of them could be a little bit more advanced than for a medium puzzle, but always good to, to see more advanced techniques. So I hope that helped you. Um, thanks for watching and uh, there's new stuff coming out all the time on sudokuprimer.com so go check that out. There's a link to it at, uh, below this video. And also if you like these video videos um, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks and I'll see you again next time.